making a fun little tutorial where you are going to take some webcam pictures and put a Santa hat on yourself and animate it. So here we go. Um, you're first off going to take pictures, and I've already taken all these pictures here with the webcam, just making my head move back and forth a little bit. Um, I would suggest probably six or seven pictures, but for this example, I'm only going to do three um, just for the sake of time. So you're going to take your pictures and um, you got to bring them in one at a time so for this example I'm just gonna take one that's kind of in the middle and then one on the side and then the other alright so um, here's just my head in the middle and I'll open that one you upload it this is just a cool little website that just randomly puts a hat on your head so like you don't even have to do anything it's kinda cool and then you hit save and share and you're gonna download it and that's that and then you hit this button again to do your other picture. And you just hit from computer and then go pick another one. So I'll just pick this one and wait. And then bam, hat on your head, save and share and download. These are going to go to your downloads folders if you're in uh, Chrome, which hopefully you are. And then I'm going to take another one where my head's sort of back in the middle, I guess. That one will work and save and share and download and then one where my head goes the other direction although I've kind of forgotten which direction I already did I think this one okay so this will give me four we'll just we'll use four for this example all right so there we go and download all right so now I've got my four pictures that are in here then you're going to go to and again this is on the funny photo website then you're going to go to the giftcreator.me website and you're just going to upload your images. You can upload up to 350, and I don't intend to do that. It does have to be in one of these formats, and if you take it on your webcam and then you download from that other site, it'll be in a JPEG. So I'm going to hit Upload Images, and then go to your Downloads folder and find your, you know, most created last four images here or whatever. Um, click the first one, hold Shift, click the last. It will select all. It'll upload them all, and then you'll see a preview. Now it's not this size, it's actually whatever the original size is, which in this case is 800 by 600. I'm going to have a size these down to about 320 or so, not bigger than that. So uh, 320 by 240 or you could go even smaller if you wanted to. And then it's going to be kind of slow, so you're going to want to change the speed to whatever speed you like. That one seems fun. I mean you can go like crazy fast, like so, if that makes you happy. Um, but whichever. Um, and then if you want it to play over and over and over and over again, repeat, you set to zero for an infinite loop. And literally that is it. You click create animation. It's going to download your animation. It's going to create it and then download your animation again to your downloads folder. And um, so once you click create, you click download the GIF file. Or you can click view like if you want to look at it before you save it so that you can see what it's going to look like. Um, now notice that it the color quality is not as good and that's because GIF images are only 256 colors whereas JPEGs are like 16 million so you're gonna notice that but that's okay um, so there we go we got that in there when I click show in folder and then this file is the one that you're gonna wanna then move into the folder and insert and of course an animated GIF can be put on a web page it could be put on a PowerPoint slide um, just really whatever and if you wanted to go a step further you could open your hats up and um, like all of them into an editor and then add like words at the bottom if you wanted each frame to have different words um, I wouldn't do that because the words would change so fast you couldn't read them but if you just wanted like the same word over the top of every single one of them you could put that text on there uh, of course you'd have to make sure it's exactly in the same spot so it would have to be pasted in an exact same spot but anyway so there you go that's creating an animated gif using the funny photo website in conjunction with gifcreator.me